Good day, collective. I am here with a general love reading for those with Cancer in their birth chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node. Remember to only take what resonates, leave what does not. Use this message for your highest and greatest good. Okay, the full extended reading will be available for my members only for $4.99 a month. So Cancer Collective, you know your relationship status. You're watching Tarot. Hopefully I can give you some answers to what you're looking for, okay? Or you could be dealing with someone with cancer significantly aspected in their birth chart. Once again, just remember to take it how it resonates, okay? So let's get into the love and romance for my Cancer Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node. What does my Cancer Collective most need to know about their love and romance life at this time? including a relationship with their self or those dealing with someone with cancer highly aspected in their charts quick cancer those dealing with first card out is forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments healing and forgiving and learning is taking place if not it needs to you have love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then religious factors. Your love life is being impacted by religious upbringing and spiritual path. So Cancer Collective, those dealing with, when it comes to your love and romance, whether you're a single married situationship, now is the time or in the recent past you found yourself releasing and healing the past and now you're loving yourself first and focusing on your spirituality or your person is either you or your person if not both of y'all okay forgiving and learning love yourself first and religious factors what does my collective need to know about forgiving and learning? As they release and heal the past, they'll experience more love in their present moments. You have money. So your love life could be being impacted right now because you're focusing on your money. Make sure you are forgiving and releasing and healing where you've given money to individuals constantly there to help them. But it was out of an energy where... You had to learn not to do that. Somebody is forgiving and learning not to trick off. Love yourself first. You have service. Yeah. Y'all need to be using your resources and tools to be practicing self-care and self-love. If you're in a relationship, y'all need to be helping each other out do that. Helping each other do that. Someone could possibly be in a relationship. Maybe they're forgiving themselves for getting in this relationship for monetary purposes. And now they're trying to figure out a way out of an emo uh, out of a connection. Someone is trying to get out of a connection. They're wanting to love themselves first. This person could be finding out they are an official person. Or in the process of possibly domestic situations and things taking place. You're realizing you need to love yourself first. And religious factors, religious factors. You have melancholy. Sadness. Someone could be feeling sad right now because their religion and or uh, spiritual work was done on their love life. Someone also is in regret for doing spells on someone's love life as well. Um, it could be someone that you don't really associate with. You see this person as a foe. They could have possibly um, paid for some love spells. And now they're sad and wanting to try to practice self-care and self-love because they're under investigation. That love spell done wore off. So cancer, those dealing with 
somebody was in a relationship, spell work could have been why that relationship ended, okay? Someone that knows your person was still talking to them. Your person was unaware that um, whoever that female is, is a pleasure seeker, clout chaser, and was out here thinking she could pay for love spells for them to even be their friend. Your person or you are currently in your head thinking about the fact that y'all ended up in a situation where somebody you cared about or loved now is kind of acting like your enemy. That would be why. So if you're wondering why somebody is changed up or, or acting different, it's the energy of they have to heal their energy with money. They have to love themselves first and handle legal issues. And yes, spell work was involved, whether it was to make this person feel isolated and alone and or just sad and unhappy in a relationship with you. But Cancer Collective, keep continuing to be yourselves, okay? Haters are never going to change, know that much. Spell work is no longer working, like when it comes to love spells and black magic in general. So you don't have to worry about that. But moving forward... Focus on your money. Love yourself first. Treat yourself like you are a divine being. And if you start feeling lonely or isolated or sad, just know it's projections and or spell work. If you found yourself realizing maybe a church friend of yours, uh, someone's realizing someone they went to school with or known for a long time or go to church with, that person is really not your friend. They don't have any love for you. They just smart and think they know it all. And that's it. Okay. So for the extended rest of this reading, where we clarify with Tarot, go ahead and join my members only for $4.99 a month. First link in the description box. Talk to you guys in a minute.